Hey guys, Lampen and the here again with episode 19 of Mighty Bargain of the Week. And as usual, the players that I normally trade are in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And I'm also on the Xbox 360, so if you watch this and you're on the PS3, then your prices may vary a little bit compared to the ones you see here. On the 5th place this week, the in-form version of Sven Bender, 79 rated center defensive midfielder from Borussia Dortmund in the German Bundesliga and he's from Germany. He's overall a very solid player in my opinion. He's got solid stats apart from his shooting which is a bit poor. He's got 77 in pace which is okay for a center defensive midfielder. And 78 defending and heading as well. 76 in passing and 72 dribbling so quite a good player for his cheap price. You can't expect more from a player in this price range than from Sven Bender in my opinion. So it's quite a good option to get. Or a Bundesliga squad or a German squad if you want a cheap player or yeah, cheap inform player. On the fourth place this week, another player from Borussia Dortmund in the German Bundesliga, this time Kevin Großkreutz, 80 overall rated left midfielder. He's, in my opinion, again, a very good left midfielder for his price because his stats are all very good. 82 in pace, 83 in shooting, which is great for a, a left midfielder. 80 in dribbling and 75 passing and even solid defending, so you can't go wrong with Großkreuz for a Bundesliga squad or a German squad if you can't afford the slightly higher priced players. On the third place this week I've got Inla, the 82 rated inform version and also an 83 rated inform version of him, but this is the center attacking midfield position. I think his default position is center defensive midfielder, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Plays for Udinese Calcio in the Serie A and is from Switzerland. And again, just with the two players before, he is overall very good. 79 in pace, 78 shooting, 79 defending, and then 83 in passing and 82 dribbling. And I believe he has got the long shot ability. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. He's as well a very strong player, so a very good player to get if you don't go for the skills, I think he has only got 3 star skill moves. On the second place this week, the third <laughs> player in this episode who is from Borussia Dortmund in the German Bundesliga, this time Mario Götze. He is, I think, for most Germans, the one of the most hoped for talents at the moment. He's very young, he's very good, he's already an international, played a couple of games for Germany. His last season at Dortmund was absolutely phenomenal and the first game against Hamburg was yeah, just incredible to watch. I love watching him even though I'm not a Dortmund fan but you can't deny that their play style is very good and, and I think they will have the best chances to win the championship uh, in the Bundesliga this year again. So Mario Götze here, 82 overall rated center attacking midfielder, there's also an 84 inform version of him. This 82 in form version has got 80 in pace and in passing, 88 dribbling which is really good, 77 in shooting, he's also got 4 star skill moves and I believe the flare trait. His only weak point is probably in the game that he is physically a bit weak and a bit small, but he makes that away with his great dribbling and pace. Really good player to get and quite cheap as well. And finally, on the first place this week, he was in last week's episode already, I believe. Another Bundesliga player, this time from Bayer Leverkusen, Stefan Kiesling, 84 rated striker, is from Germany. And in my opinion, he's apart from skill moves, I think he has got three there. A complete striker, he got decent pace, 82 there, the 85 shooting, 80 dribbling, 84 heading. He's very strong and tall, which makes his 80 dribbling stat even more impressive. And you can dribble with him, you can shoot with him, you can add the ball in after crosses or corners. So he's a very good and, again, rather cheap player to get for your Bundesliga squad or your German squad. So we are at the end of this week's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It helps me immensely. Every like is welcome. I also apologize again for not uploading as frequently as usual during the last two weeks, but I was too busy with my vacation job and football preparation. This week I still have to go to my vacation job, but after that I hopefully have 
more time for you guys and for uploading videos. And yeah, I hope you stay with me until that time. Please subscribe if you like the content you see here and if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.